Our last lecture on special senses deals with the chemical senses of taste and smell. The receptors for taste and olfaction are classified as chemoreceptors because they respond to chemicals in solution. Five types of taste receptors have been identified, but the receptors for smell are believed to be sensitive to a much wider range of chemicals. The receptors for smell and taste complement each other and respond to many of the same stimuli. Even though our sense of smell is far less acute than many other types of animals, the human nose is still no slouch in picking up small differences in odors. The thousands of receptors for the sense of smell occupy a postage stamp sized area in the roof of each nasal cavity. The olfactory receptor cells are neurons equipped with olfactory hairs. And when the receptors are stimulated by chemicals dissolved in mucus, they transmit impulses to the olfactory nerve. In turn, the olfactory nerve conducts the impulses to the olfactory cortex of the brain where it is interpreted. Here you can see the location and cellular makeup of the olfactory epithelium. Now we're going to move on to taste. The taste buds are widely scattered in the oral cavity. Of the 10,000 or so taste buds that we have, most are on the tongue. A few are scattered on the soft palate and inner surfaces of the cheeks. Here we have the taste buds on the tongue, which are associated with papillae, which are these little projections of the tongue mucosa. The dorsal tongue surface is covered with these small peg-like projections, or papillae. The taste buds are found on the sides of the large, round, circumvallet papillae, and on the tops of the more numerous fungiform papillae. Say that three times fast. The specific cells that respond to chemicals dissolved in the saliva are epithelial cells called gustatory cells. They have long microvilli, which are the gustatory hairs, and these protrude the taste pore, and when they are stimulated, impulses are transmitted to the brain. Now, three cranial nerves carry the taste impulses from the various taste buds to the gustatory complex. The facial nerve serves the anterior part of the tongue, and the other two cranial nerves serve the other taste bud containing areas. Now, because of their location, taste bud cells are subjected to huge amounts of friction and are routinely burned by hot foods. Luckily, they are among the most dynamic cells in the body, and they are replaced every 7 to 10 days. There are five basic taste sensations, each corresponding to stimulation of the five major types of taste buds. Sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami. Umami is a taste discovered by the Japanese. It's responsible for the beef taste of steak and the flavor of monosodium glutamate, a food additive. It's also supposed to be some sort of euphoria after you've eaten. The special sense organs are formed very early in embryonic development. The eyes, which are outgrowths of the brain, are developed by the fourth week. All of the special senses are functional to a greater or lesser degree at birth. Congenital eye problems are relatively uncommon, but there are some examples. Strabismus, which is commonly called cross eyes, results from unequal pulls by the external eye muscles that prevent the baby from coordinating movement of the two eyes. Maternal infections that occur during early pregnancy may lead to the baby's eyes being infected by the bacteria during delivery. Ophthalmia neonatorum is one type of eye disorder caused by the bacteria that causes gonorrhea. Presbyopia results from decreasing lens elasticity that accompanies aging. This makes it difficult to focus for close vision. Presbycusis is a type of central neural deafness. In some cases, the ear ossicles fuse, which compounds the hearing problem by interfering with the sound conduction to the inner ear. So, what are the key points here? First of all, what kind of receptors are taste and smell? Where does olfactory take place? 
What kind of cells are associated with taste? What are the five senses of taste? And what are some of the homeostatic imbalances of the senses? We are now done with the special senses, and we'll move on to our next chapter uh, as it comes up sometime in the future. Yeehaw! Goodbye!